Hey everyone, this is JoJo, and I'm here to do my video, uh, my writing video segment uh, today. And um, I don't still don't know what to call. It. I don't know what to call it a segment or just like a writing video. All right, so this is like the first video. Most I was just like introduce, like tell y'all how I got into writing was my influence and all that stuff. So it's mostly just like an introduction, nothing extra special or anything. I explained in uh, one of my videos about like new plans for my blog where I'm going to talk about do more than just book hauls and stuff and uh, one of them is a writing segment where I'm trying to get back into writing and it's mostly just going to just, just do little things at a time like maybe I might uh, post this video once a month and not like every other week because I don't know I, we'll see how it goes because I think maybe either once a month or every other week I can try to plan things out a little so maybe I might do the next video next month because I'm still working on some stuff so mostly this video is going to be me ex like, it, ex not explaining but just what is it explaining? just telling you a story how I got into writing in detail and other videos will probably be like um what, what kind of stuff I write I guess and um like writing prompts I would do and try to do a short story and post it on my blog for y'all can read if y'all want and you know give me feedback um and you know, so I'm still working on how the thing will work out um let's see how I'm gonna start okay so I guess when ever since I was a little girl I did read a little bit because my mom used to take us to the library and we used to take out, I take out these, uh, the Babysitter Club books, mostly like the Little Sister Story, uh, Babysitter Club books. And, you know, I really enjoy those, uh, the stories that was told. I really like the character because she had like two different colored glasses. And I only got this one ugly looking pair of glasses that I didn't, didn't like so much. But, yeah, so I really enjoyed those books. But when I got a little older, around like when I was in ninth grade, I didn't feel like reading as much because I get these really bad headaches. And I just don't know. I just didn't like it as much as I used to or like that. Because I wasn't really much of a, a, a reader back then. I was more of a visual. Like I, I like to re watch a lot of TV. And when I was watching TV, I get inspired by making my own uh, stories for movies and TV shows. And some of them don't even make sense. And some of them just, like, when I get older, like, what? But some do, and some was just weird. And it's just, it was just, like, you know, something I would, I, I would like to do when I get older. But when I entered fifth grade, we, my teacher, uh, 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 let us uh, read a book almost every I think every week or every month so we could do book reports and this one book I read was from a friend in my uh, was from a friend or classmate and I read that book and was inspired to read more because I enjoyed it so much it was uh man, what was the book called I think it was dogs don't tell jokes or something it's a middle grade about this boy who was a kind of like an inspiring stand-up co comedian who um, entered his uh, talent show as a comedian, stand-up comedian, and like he he uh, introduced us to his class, like different classmates or schoolmates, different characters and stuff. It just seemed very fun, and I imagined those characters since I was into uh, anime so much back then. That I imagined some of the, the characters in the book as Yu-Gi-Oh characters. It's so hilarious. I don't know why. Like the first, um, the main character was supposed to be Yugi. Not like the smaller Yugi. Like, uh, is his name Yami? Yami Yugi. And uh, it's just so out of character. With him. It's just hilarious what I was thinking. Some of the other characters were all in there. So, I really enjoyed it. Because, like, I get to... Imagine the characters, even though some of the characters are described in a certain way in the book, I just imagine them as certain anime characters, because I was into anime so much. 
and this other book, in which is, was an anthology, which I only read the first story, and really enjoyed it, but I didn't know much about it, because I was a little confused, because it was more like a literature anthology for, like, higher uh, levels of reading, I guess, for more like uh, people in college, but I was reading it in fifth grade, and I did kind of enjoy it, but at the same time, I was a little confused about it. I think it had a little, some maybe some, like, fantasy kind of elements to it, but I don't remember the title of the book because, man, I really want that book to actually go back and read it. Ugh, yeah. So, during fifth grade, we had, like, a writing contest during, like, the whole school had a writing contest. And we all had to write our own story. And I was working on the story. I want to do it, I want to do it, like, by myself because I usually have someone to help me, like my mom. But I want to do it by myself. I wrote a first draft because I was just writing things out to see how the story would go out. But I didn't. I ain't going to turn that in because it would look all sloppy. Because I want to draw pictures and stuff too. So when I rewrote it, I drew pictures and I wrote the dialogue and the writing on the bottom. And I really enjoyed every process of that. So it's kind of like I was like doing my first draft and then revising it. And I guess uh, either I did another revision after my teacher checked grammar and stuff, and it's, um, it was, like, a, like, really fun, and, um, during the last day to, like, turn in the entries in the class, like, I guess they had to pick, like, two students from each class to go to the next, I guess, the next, uh, round, I guess, and while we would read each other's stories, everybody has some really a very uh, funny, a very imaginative stories, and um, the two that went to the next round was mine and a friend of mine, and his was hilarious. His was a, like he got trapped in the jungle, getting chased by animals. It's hilarious how he said that in the drawings. Anyway, so um, my story went to the next round, which was which uh, made me so proud and like. So happy and like shocked too that like how my story was the next round because mostly people vote like raise their hand to see which one they like the most and mine was one and I was so happy I was like what and so mine went to the next round but I didn't win the story, writing contest but I was still proud that a majority of my classmates enjoyed my story so that inspired me to write more stories since I love the process of it and it makes other people happy. And I start using the stories that I created for movies and TV shows into my own writing. Some of those stories that from movies and writing didn't really make it to story format because some of them was like confusing and some of them were like not much of a good story anymore to me because like how you when you change and get inspired by other things you start changing your perspective and your um your what you like such as back then I did like uh what did I like though? I don't know, I did like a lot of uh, romance at a young age and I guess mostly like adventures and cartoons. Well as I got older I like more fantasy and adventure and some sci fi and action. I still like romance but not too much of it. And I started creating stories during fifth grade and got even more advanced during uh, six, seven, eight. I even drew, sometimes when I drew pictures, I turned those pictures into st characters and the characters will have their own stories. <coughs> so that's how I got influenced by writing. And I definitely want to become a full time writer and become a best thing author, you know. Inspire people to read more, especially young children, because, you know, there's a lot of kids out who doesn't like reading. Um, I watched a video, I think yesterday or before yesterday, uh, by, uh, the YouTuber Caddy Tastic. It's Katie Tastic or some, I don't know, I'm bad with pronouncing things. And she was talking about how writing, I mean, um, passion versus con consistency, oh lord, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, where it's like, when you, if you love writing, 
you know, the passion, that like, you have the love for writing, but you don't have, like, the effort to actually push that writing forward. And she, in uh, that video, kind of gave me the idea, like, she was planning on using, like, she read a book that I really want to check that book out. But she said that she was doing this, um, like, you know, more like an experiment to, um, use, like, treat her writing, her love for writing as if it's a job. And, um, I was, I was thinking, that may, that's not like a good idea. Maybe I should try that too. Because, like, I do love writing and I want to get back into it. I should try to treat it as if it's my job. So, I'm going to use, like, a, like, like how she schedules a certain time. I'm going to do the same thing. Do a certain time schedule starting on Sunday, the 19th, where I will uh, work on, like, some type of writing. Either just, like, either writing on a random blank page, just, just writing random story, like, whatever comes to my head, to practice on, you know, writing, like, get the writing block thing out of the way, or working on a story I ha already have, or developing the characters, or the storyline, or world building, etc., or writing, working, they like, write short stories based on little random prompts, so that'd be cool, so, like, I was planning on doing, like, starting Sunday to Friday, because I will get Saturday off, because I usually go to church on Saturday, but I don't go to church lately, but we do, do Bible study, and it's kind of like the Sabbath day, and we rest on the Sabbath day, so we don't work on Sabbath day. So, um, Sunday to Friday, or, uh, starting at 10, and ends at 5, I'm going to be working on my like, you know, doing writing, like, if it's my job. And, of course, I will do, like, little breaks in between and lunch break. But, not too many breaks, but just enough to, like, I won't be overwhelmed. Um, I pick 9 o'clock, I mean, 10 o'clock, because uh, usually I get up around, like, 8 or 9. So, I want to get, like, get up and be prepared, like, brush my teeth, uh, eat breakfast, drink some coffee, uh, make sure I'm a... a you know, awake a little, and so I can prepare myself, like, what I'm planning on doing, so I can start when 12, I mean, 10 o'clock come around. Um, what else? I'm trying to think of anything else to talk about. Well, that's mainly it. Uh, I would like to tell you what stories I'd like to be working on, but I'm not sure if I should tell you right now, maybe my next video. Um, so, ah, oh man, this is hard. So, yeah, um, I might put a link below of my, uh, figmic.com, uh, uh, profile page. It's, uh, it's a website where people write stories. It's someone like Wad Pass, that voice a little more, like, professional, I guess. Or maybe, like, the stories are more written well. Um... I don't know much about why I had never actually read much of it. But anyway, so, uh, yeah, I'll leave that below. I will have my stories down there where y'all can read and talk about it. I mean, like, tell me what y'all think if y'all want. You know, just other stuff. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment below. Tell me what you uh, think or, like, what your experience and how you got into writing or reading. Um... What else? Uh, you know, other stuff. Uh, subscribe, like, and I hope to see you again soon. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of anything else. I'm, I might plan another video either at the end of this month for a write, another writing section, or maybe the next, or the, like, the first Friday of next month, or sometime on Friday in uh, in July, I don't know, I'm sorry, um, yeah, I will be posting another video tomorrow of my, of a little, uh, just a mini book haul, in an uh, unboxing, so, yeah, so, I hope I see you again soon, bye.